Hey guys, Brett here, the Rusty Nut, back with another episode. Uh, one of my subscribers, one of you guys on Facebook said you wanted to see an update video, so here it is. Um, you can see I got the car, obviously it's running, that was my last video. Um, I got the, the front end on, as you can see, I got my, my wheels done, mounted. The tires, 275, 6015s, they fit great in the back, all kinds of clearance. Um, the coolest part is obviously I'm not coming to you from home, uh, it drives. As you can see the mud all up the side of it because I got stuck in my yard. Um, yeah, here I'll go over it with you a little bit. It's front end, see, it's looking all nice. I got the idea from the emblem from another guy in Massachusetts. He gave me permission to put it there. I didn't want to copy him, but he said go for it. But yeah, I still need to clean up my wiring. See, I got the other inner fender in there. Um, yeah, I, I want to, uh, all of that relays and the little junction box there. I'm going to put that up inside because I'm not going to run your typical AC or heat in this thing. So I'm going to gut everything from underneath the dash. And uh, as far as AC, eventually I'll put a vintage AC air system in it. And for heat, I'm going to use a little auxiliary heater from like a trailer truck. They're, I don't know, I think they're like 8 by 8 by like 4. I'll put that up underneath the dash and I'll run the ducting to uh, my defrost. Because obviously this car isn't going to get driven in the winter, so it'll be alright. Plus, that little, those auxiliary heaters, they throw off a lot of heat, so that'll heat the inside of the car anyway. Yeah, check it out. The front's uh, 205, 65, 15 on a 15 and by 5 wheel with a 3 inch backspace, I believe. And of course the back is a 15 by 8, 5 and a half inch backspace, 275, 60, 15. Now, you can see right here, got plenty of room. That, that ain't ever going to rub unless I slam it across the bump and then I just deserve to let it rub. You can see the gap seat up in there. Plenty of room. Same with this side. Plenty. See? These cars are normally not, normally the side to side is off on them, but it actually worked out all right on mine. You can see the inside. This is the next thing. The, the dash, dashboard's coming out, and then I'm gonna paint the dash, and I have a whole interior kit for it. Here's my shifter, B&M Stealth Pro Ratchet. I built a little stand for it, but I'm, I'm actually gonna change it. I've seen some better ideas online. I am gonna, I'm probably gonna mount it another two inches back because I'm gonna make brackets for the seat to bring it another two inches back. That way, I'm almost six foot tall and you're kind of crap behind the steering wheel. And uh, another guy saw the car show Last fall, he gave me the idea. He showed me he made extensions for his seat brackets, and I brought it back another two inches. And he said, "You wouldn't wouldn't believe how much extra room that makes for you." So that's what I'm gonna do there. Get all my gauges working. Aside from the speedometer, I'm gonna splice the uh, vehicle speed sensor. But I got the brakes all in. I got the the master cylinder and the booster from. Uh, lead brakes and then the entire I bought pre-bent stainless lines those came from right stuff detailing very very nice kit same with the lead brake very nice kit but yeah oh yeah I didn't show you I'll show you a little closer I don't know if you can see it I get a better angle here this brakes this is the uh, JEGS kit. It worked out pretty well. I did have to clearance my calipers a little bit because uh, Wheel Ventiques doesn't tell people that they use uh, drum brake, the, the what do you call it? The barrel of the wheel is meant for a drum brake car, not disc brakes, which I wish they told me that beforehand because I would have ordered from somewhere else. But I uh, said to, I had to grind quite a bit out of the calipers actually, but not to the point where it's not safe. I mean, plus you're, 
you don't really use your back brakes as much as your front, so I don't foresee there ever being a problem. But that's the eight and a half inch rear end that I put under it. It's got an Auburn locker. And I don't know, it kicks Blasi sometimes, sometimes it doesn't, but I'm thinking it just needs to get miles on it. It's sat for years. It's a 1987 model uh, split case, and I talked to Auburn, they said they don't even make parts for it anymore. So basically once that stops working, I have to replace it. Not a big deal. But yeah, you see the nice tank sink gas tank that has mud all over it, just like everything else. Yeah, it's what, April... What's today? Two, Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. So yeah, April whatever. We have 6 to 12 inches of snow in our forecast tomorrow here in northern Maine. Gotta love it. Well. As far as the body, I have to... I have to adjust the subframe over in the front, I believe, because the bumper in front is sitting off to the passenger side and I can't adjust it anymore. In the back, I have to... The cheap bumper brackets I bought. The bumpers are very nice. They're auto metal direct. But the uh, the brackets there, they, I can't bring this side up far enough. And then that side's sitting too high and actually rubs the tail light. I have Fezzler built tail lights and they already got scuffed a little bit and I don't want to scuff them any more than they already are. But... I'm going to go up the road a little bit. I'm going to do a little drive-by video. I want to see how this thing sounds. update on the car. We're going to give you a little drive-by in there too. Um, sounds pretty good. Uh, hopefully it doesn't attract too much uh, law enforcement, but uh, we'll find out. I drive like a grandpa, so hopefully that, uh, that helps. But uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, there's going to be a lot more videos of this car coming, not only because I'm off of work, but uh, you know, I can work on it easier now that I can move it without having to call somebody for help. Uh, I feel bad bugging my buddy Joe all the time. So, uh, yeah, like I said, like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys the next time. It should be in a couple days because I'm going to start doing the interior work in this thing probably tomorrow. So, all right, guys, stay safe, stay six feet apart, and uh, enjoy your day.